Meanwhile, in the United States, chaos reigns supreme. The president is busy with his politics and tweets, and the people, they're busy protesting. In fact, in America, they have two sets of protests now, demanding exactly the opposite things. In the backdrop, the body bags continue to pile up. The unemployment figures continue to rise, and the coronavirus curve keeps inching northwards. Here's a report. The country with the world's largest number of coronavirus cases. A stretched healthcare system and the world's highest death toll. The United States is the worst hit by the Wuhan virus. But thousands of Americans are unconvinced of its severity. They are demanding an end to the lockdowns. Over 2,000 people took to the streets of Washington. The maskless protesters hit out at Democratic Governor Jay Inslee's stay-at-home order. There's no reason to shut the whole state down. 99% of the people, with a one, less than 1% of people that are vulnerable to the, to the virus. I eat the right food, I take vitamins, I drink the right water. Vitamin D, vitamin C, it's been proven already. So we have everything that we need. We don't need a vaccine. You know, my body, my choice. They are not the only deluded ones. Several dozen protesters gathered in California too. Some demanded the right to walk and surf. Similar scenes at Wisconsin too, where the stay-at-home orders have been extended till the 26th of May. In Virginia, protesters questioned government numbers. The numbers don't add up. We don't know about underlying conditions with the numbers reported. Demonstrators in Texas ruled out the need for a vaccine. Forty-two of 50 American states have issued stay-at-home orders. Twenty-two million Americans filed for unemployment benefits in the last one month. People are struggling to make ends meet. The frustration of these protesters is justified. Their demands, however, aren't. Can American states be reopened? What do guidelines say? The Trump administration recommends 14 straight days of decline in cases for a state to start easing restrictions. What's the status now? The graph is rising everywhere. Boston and Chicago are emerging as hotspots. What do experts recommend? Intensive testing. US President Donald Trump wants the world to believe that American states have plenty of tests. From Maryland to Virginia, the federal governors disagree. The White House clearly isn't doing enough in action. Fake body bags were placed outside Trump buildings over the weekend. Demonstrators highlighted how every American is at risk. These are two sides of the American coin. Which side represents the majority? Most Americans disagree with those protesting against stay at home. The number is two to one. Most Americans are concerned about ending lockdowns. This is according to a PEW survey. Bureau report, we on. World is one.